early this morning. It is quiet. It is calm. A little bit of hog, a little bit of haze out there here in San Francisco, but it is not going to ruin anybody's day. And if you want to head out to the Giants game tonight, it's not against the A's. That was yesterday, but it's still going to be a beautiful night for it with temperatures in the upper 60s. Plenty of sunshine dipping down into the mid to lower 60s by the time the sun begins to set and it's going to be a great night for any outdoor plans early this morning though if you want to stay in bed an extra second or two longer i don't blame you as we are still looking at sporadic bouts of fog moving over the city and you can see just that by looking out of salesforce tower it is tall but at least we can see something out of it over the past couple of days its head has been in the clouds so luckily it's already quieter and clearer at least on the west side of the city on the east side or on the east side of the city it's sunnier on the west side this is where the thick fog is rolling in from that marine layer. At one point, we could see the Golden Gate Bridge. Now we can't see much of anything. Temperatures out there are comfortable, or at least what we expect this time of year. Jacket is necessary. They're in the mid to upper 50s, low 60s, but Santa Rosa sitting at 48 degrees right now where you are definitely feeling a little bit more of that chill and that chill is going to stick around at least through the next 24 hours or so. A gradual warm up though is going to be on the way. The gradual warm up is going to allow for a little bit more heat to continue to build over the coming days. This area of low pressure that did bring us a bit more fog. It brought us the cooler conditions this weekend. It is departing and that's going to allow for a southwesterly wind to pick up. You can see those southwesterly winds already and that is going to allow for that gradual warm up to head our way over the next 24 to 48 hours, but it's very gradual. It is very, very minute. And in fact, it is only going to be a maybe a degree or two above average for this time of year. So upper 80s today transitioning to low 90s by the time that we step out tomorrow, then back to the mid 80s on Wednesday and then low 80s on Thursday. And look at this. I think for the first time since I have lived here, moved here on June 1st, 79 degree high temperature in our inland communities. That is such a nice change of pace. I hope everybody can get out and about and enjoy themselves later this week. But again, it is going to be a bit warmer through Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, the warmest day of the week.